Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. I'm Dalton, and today we're gonna to be taking a quick look at Notion's new timeline feature. Let's jump right into it. All right, here we are in Notion. We are in my uh, little tutorial database here. So this is the new timeline view, and it's really simple to make. All you have to do is just open up a new page, and you have the timeline option. Whoops. You have the timeline option uh, right here. So click timeline, and then you have three cards that are already uh, kind of pre-populated here, uh, and that's the name. You can add the icon cover, you know, as typical. Uh, but I think what the really cool thing is is the ability to change the view of the timeline. So this is timeline uh, you're looking at as a month, so November 1st, November 2nd, uh, so on and so forth. But if you go over here, you can click uh, month. You can change it to hours, which is basically like a calendar day. So you can do time blocking, time chunking, time chunking stuff like that. Uh, or you could do day, which is pretty simple or pretty similar, but it's just every hour. So uh, the hour one is much more zoomed in um, and the uh, day one is a little bit kind of zoomed out. So, Or you could do a week. So you got Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. This would be really, uh, really ideal uh, really for um, kind of like a to-do list because you can uh, type in uh, new task, new task here, open that up a little bit, uh, add a property for checkbox, and then make sure uh, that shows by going to properties and then turning on the done checkbox. And then, uh, so it doesn't, it's not showing up there for some reason. Show table, oh, here we go. So show in table, you got to show in timeline. So you have to turn that one on. So now we can have um, like a cool little checkbox here with the task. So that is really, really cool. Basically a daily tracker, daily habit tracker, or um, you could do, set this up like a template for a daily habit tracker, or you can go ahead and use this as a task list. So every night go into the next day and add in the tasks that you need to get done. Um, one of the cool uh, updates that Notion released is you have the ability now to hide uh, this kind of property in card. So you can go ahead and do hide property and you can do always hide. And so when you go into this table, it's always gonna hide that property. Uh, we can go back in here and turn that off in the timeline, but obviously we don't wanna do that because then we lose that uh, checklist. So that is one way to use um, this kind of inline or this uh, timeline database is that checklist, which is pretty cool. So moving on, you can go week, you can go bi-weekly, uh, which is really cool. So we got Friday here, the 6th, going to Sunday, the 22nd. So a little bit more of a length, uh, kind of a lengthy time. And then go to bi-weekly, you can go to the month. So October, every single day of the month, obviously. You got every quarter, which is, I think, really cool. So you got October, November, December, and January. The ability that they've kind of developed here to be able to do this in so many different views with one database, I think is going to be very popular. Um, one of the weird things is, if you notice this, um, the whole title doesn't show, it's kind of like grayed out, which makes sense, but is a little confusing to me. I assume that's going to be fixed. Uh, I don't think it'll stay like that for a, a, a while, but you have the different views, which I think is really cool, and you have the ability to hide properties. Um, so if we go into kind of this example, uh, give you a little hint at what I'm working at. I'm working at a little productivity playbook, a uh, big project I'm working on now, which has been a ton of fun for me. But this is kind of my example kind of mock roadmap. So from November 6th to November 9th, I'm working on chapter one. And then from the 10th to the 13th, I'm working on two, 14th to 17th, working on three. Uh, and so on and so forth. And I can just go ahead and drag this out further to go to the 21st or go uh, less down to the 15th. Um, so really it's super customizable. So this is one way you would look at it is kind of this looking at this playbook um, example. Another way you could look at it is doing time blocking. So I think I have a, uh, should be later in my day here. Yeah, so this is just an example I whipped up real quick. So today I have a meeting from 1.30 to about 4.30, which is gonna be horrible, I hate meetings. Uh, but then after that, I'm going to do some Instagram content design. So this is a way to time block, uh, time chunk your day, which I love. Um, I do it pretty much every day on a piece of paper the night before or on my uh, calendar. I've started using Fantastical lately, which I've been loving. Um, but yeah, time blocking is incredible. Like if, if you do it and stick to it, your days will be much more productive. You'll be less stressed and you actually uh, go to sleep knowing you got a lot of stuff done because... I would always be, it would always be like 9, 9.30 and I'm kind of like hanging out, watching TV, 
um, just relaxing and be like, oh shoot, I have to do this one thing and it needs to get done. Like there's no way I just can't get it done and I have to basically ruin my day. I'd be super frustrated. So yeah, time blocking now, getting everything out of my mind on paper or on this notion table is going to be very, very cool. So uh, make sure to do that. That's one way you can do it. Another way uh, you could actually do it inline. So everyone knows the inline databases. So if you just go to a new page and click empty and then do forward slash time, whoops, I have a little keyboard shortcut. So I'm going to do TI and then you have the inline or a uh, full page. So do the timeline full page. Uh, basically the same thing. It's just inline, uh, which is really cool. So if you go up to kind of these three dots, you can do small text and full width, which I pretty much always do on every Notion page I create. Uh, and then you have the same views, uh, stuff like that. But then if you do it like this, you can kind of do um, like a table and you could have your... Uh, inbox here or your um, inline your your table you have your timeline up there but then on here you kind of have your task management list uh, which would be pretty cool the other thing you could do too is I assume you could link this database uh, do create link database yeah type in productivity playbook yeah so you could um, put this in here and then add a view of uh, timeline create so just like everything else in notion you should be using master databases and then manipulating those for each different views you want kind of to display. So I would create a productivity playbook roadmap as a master kind of database and then look at that as a task list and then in a different view, look at that as a calendar and then a different view, look at that as timeline. So I think this is really cool. And then actually go even more uh, micro and look at, that, look at it uh, weekly and daily and hourly just to figure out what I'm working on. So this I think is really cool. Um, Airtable does have this feature, like I mentioned in the intro, but the only way you can get it is you have to pay for it. Uh, and obviously Notion, I believe, is still free for everybody right now. I'm not sure how they're doing that, but I, I guess it's free. Maybe they have enough enterprise or corporate plans, but uh, that is pretty cool. So yes, this is the new Notion update. Um, also, there's a couple smaller things. I forget what, what one of them is, um, but there's a ton of videos right now. Obviously, Thomas Frank is going to make one about this. I talked to him. Well, I didn't talk to him. I, I made myself sound way cooler than I expected, but I tweeted at him and he replied to my tweet saying he's working on a video about the updates. So yeah, timeline and then the ability to hide properties um, in different tables, which is cool because I know a lot of people have 15 properties and just no really reason to use those on every little table. So you can uh, now have the ability to hide those, which I know has been a long awaited request. So yes, that is the timelines. So yeah, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this screen share. If you did, go ahead and press the like button, tap the bell and subscribe so you get notified when I post new videos. And I truly think this timeline feature is going to develop and continue to grow Notion into a really great organizational tool for your life and business or whatever else you use it for. So if you haven't already checked out my video where I talk about how to build a master task database, go ahead and check out this video right here or check out this video down here. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.